We've been covering, look at it now, 29.50 is the price. We've been covering the bust in North Dakota's Bakken Shale region all week. Cheap oil is really slamming the fracking industry there and the state and the local economy as well. Joining us now is Senator John Hoven, Republican, North Dakota. Senator, what's it? You can't be happy about your state being subject to such boom and bust cycles. It reminds me of parts of Texas. Well, no, no question, it's tough right now. But, you know, we, we have a state that understands commodity cycles. I mean, we're an ag state, so we understand that commodity prices go up and go down. And the same is true with energy, which is why we've worked to really diversify our economy. But no question, when commodity prices are down, uh, both ag and energy suffer, and that's the case right now. Do you think we're going to recover? I mean, I, I guess I'm asking you for a forecast on the price of oil. Can you see it getting back to a, a profitable level uh, w within this year, like 40 bucks a barrel? Can you see it? Well, you know, we had a, uh, I'm on the Energy Committee in the Senate. Yeah. We had a hearing with the Department of Energy, and uh, their forecast is to get to about 38 to $40 by the end of this year, and then approaching $50 by the end of 2017. You're hoping, I take it. Well, I think on that, uh, you know, with that range, um, it's going to be tough for us now, but that we'll, we'll work through this pretty well if, in fact, that's the case. I wonder if you join the debate about whether Apple should unlock that iPhone that belonged to the San Bernardino terrorist. That is the argument of the day, and Silicon Valley right. is lining up behind Apple who say, no, we're not going to unlock it. Where do you stand on this? Well, look, we've got to come up with a solution that balances both privacy and the ability of law enforcement pursuant to a court order to get information that they need. So this is a technology issue. We should turn to the technology experts to help us solve it, and I believe they can. Do you think that at this moment, Apple is putting its own interests and the interests of its customers ahead of the national interest? Well, I understand the focus on privacy. We want to protect personal privacy. That's very important in our country. But at the same time, we also have to fight terrorism and we, you know, people have to feel safe. And so that's why I say this is something where we need to look for a technology solution that creates that balance between protecting privacy, but also, again, pursuant to a court order and proper procedure uh, that we're able to work with law enforcement. Senator, I hate to push the issue, but absent that technological fix, where do you stand? force Apple to unlock it or not? Well, again, I think you're, ta you're talking about an absolute, and we uh -huh. need to find that balance. I, I, you know, to say, oh, look, technology got us into this situation, uh, Stuart. We need to have technology work with us on a solution that creates that balance, and I believe it's there. Got it. Senator Hoven, North Dakota, thanks very much for joining us, sir. Always appreciate it. Great, Thank you. Great to be with you. Thanks, Stuart.